as the day goes on, we're going to start to see showers and thunderstorms develop on the western side of the lake, and then they're going to make a push towards I-95 and the Turnpike, and we're expecting some heavy downpours. And like yesterday, we could be dealing with some gusty winds, maybe up to about 50 miles an hour, and lots of lightning strikes with these thunderstorms. But it's really late in the day and towards the evening hours, right around the evening commute, if you will. Now, in the meantime, because of the high tide cycle, the king tides, we could be dealing with some minor coastal flooding. So keep that in mind. That's today and tomorrow, too. Otherwise, all is quiet at the moment. We do have a thunderstorm offshore, and we have one little storm starting to pop right there uh, just to the west of the Kissimmee River. Now, up and down the peninsula, for now, we're dry. But you can see some showers and storms into the Gulf. As the day goes on, with the daytime heating, we'll see those thunderstorms develop on the western side of the lake, and then they're going to make a push towards the east coast metro areas. Still a lot of tropical moisture available, but as we head into the next few days, the moisture gets pushed off to the south. High pressure is going to build to the north, and that's going to push down some drier air. And notice this, that's even drier air, and that will continue to feed in as we head into early next week. So as we head towards the weekend, we're looking at some pretty nice weather. Could have a shower along the coast during the morning hours. Otherwise, inland areas could pick up a late day storm, but only about a 30% chance since we have that drier air on top of us. Temperatures in the upper 80s. Sunday, the first day of fall. So that's it for summer. All right, now out in the Atlantic, we're watching three separate zones. This one right here in the Gulf and in the Caribbean, a 40% chance of development as we head towards next week. In fact, there's a high chance that something will develop here. Models very aggressive in spinning up a tropical depression or storm here. The question is, where does it go after that? And that we'll have to wait and see as we head towards the end of next week. But we will certainly watch that system closely. And way out here, we have two more systems that we're watching. Both of these eventually end up in the North Atlantic, so no threat. Notice, there's the sea breeze around 2 o'clock. Here come the thunderstorms from the west collide with the sea breeze, and you can see those thunderstorms really exploding. So heavy rain. We could be dealing with some gusty winds, lots of lightning strikes. This is around 6 p.m., and then those storms slide offshore and then we start to dry out. 90, the forecast at high for today. As we head into the next few, temperatures upper 80s. Again, this weekend, considerably drier.